If you've ever wanted to flip dirt cheap properties, you're going to want to watch today's show. Ed, this one's for you. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, this is the show uh, where you get to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, right? Uh, you go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search tab, get yourself to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You order one analysis or a package. You sell them three, four, ten packs, right? And then uh, you go ahead and you make the purchase, and then I'm going to send you an email a day or two later, and I'm going to get all your information, uh, get your wants, your needs, your goals, uh, your budget, how you're paying for it, like your budget, right? You, do you have X amount of money, and is it cash, is it a HELOC, is it a 401k, hard money lenders, et cetera, right? Basically... I try to to get in and know exactly what you're trying to do and what you're working with and, and help match you with a plan of attack as well as actual properties. And uh, my guy today, Ed. Uh, Ed, you're from the West Coast. This is the second video we did uh, for you. The last one, we tried to take that one down. It's uh, We were trying to do like a, a flip on a undervalued rental property because they had a tenant paying nothing and uh the seller they didn't accept our offer right we went back and forth a little bit and seller didn't accept our offer but that's part of the game right we're going in and we're trying to get these properties at the prices that are going to make a bunch of money right that's why when you guys do these shows and these packages with us i recommend you get the bigger packages because it's going to take time right if you are not uh, a seasoned real estate investor what you need to know about this business guys is this is a numbers game and it's a volume game okay uh, all, all these other folks out there telling you like, yo, it's very easy to find houses to flip, blah, 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 blah. I flipped a lot of houses in my life. I've sold over $200 million worth of real estate. And I can tell you with the flipping houses thing, though, it's a volume game, dude. For every house I flip, I probably have to make like 20, 30, 40 offers, right? You got to do due diligence on every one of those deals. And uh, we're here to do the due diligence for you, find the deals for you, right? Uh, that's why you do the bigger packages, though, because it's going to take time. It's a numbers game. And here is one that I think could work for you. And, Ed, you know, just shooting you straight, dog, you got, uh, you know, it's an uphill battle for you because you're working with an incredibly small budget, right? You have $30,000 to play with, okay? So, obviously, it's very hard to flip properties with only $30,000 to play with. You have private lenders who could possibly give you a little bit more money, uh, but, you're working with a pretty small budget here. And, you know, you coupled that with you're hoping you can make like 30K per flip, right? Uh, so I pulled this one up for you. This is another deal that might be doable. It's going to come with a much lower uh, profit margin than 30 grand. But, you know, this is something that you should be looking into because it's reasonable for your budget, right? If you're working with like $250,000 in cash, that's one thing, but you're not, brother. So we have to be uh, very realistic. So let's go through this one, see if maybe this one wets your beak a little bit, okay? 1135 West 12th Street, Lorraine, 44052. Been on the market for two weeks, listed at 29900 okay? In this particular property, uh, this is in a lower-income neighborhood, okay? So the goal with this property, Ed, would be for us to flip this to an investor, right? We would be turning this into a turnkey rental property, right? We would want to rent this out to a Section 8 tenant. So we're not going to be doing anything crazy high-end or anything like that. We would just take this dog and turn it into a nice, stable Section 8 rental that would be bringing in about a thousand bucks a month and we would sell it for approximately 60k right so as you can see we have to do the basic cosmetics right we gotta repaint the whole thing uh, obviously remove all this crap pull this carpet refinish the hardwood floors uh you know you see they're all jacked up right there you know just you know fix this stuff up right just the basic cosmetic stuff 
needs to happen to this particular property. Everything is, you know, it's just a mess, right? You got to outdate a kitchen. You got to update that, make that look nicer because we need to attract that nice Section 8 tenant. And then as far as our big ticket stuff, right, when we do these types of properties, we got roofs, furnaces, hot water tanks, uh, in there, I have a line item for stolen plumbing, okay, because when you have these homes in these lower-income neighborhoods, sometimes if there's copper in there, thieves will go in there and they'll rip it all out. Electrical panels, right? Now, all the stuff I mentioned doing, right, the cosmetics when I was going through the photos, that's going to cost us approximately $20,500, right? I broke it down, you know, into segments for you, right? Painting and patching the walls, refinishing the hardwoods, the kitchen, the bath, right? Simple stuff. We don't have to go high end on anything, right? So, you know, twenty thousand five hundred, right? We're not doing anything crazy there. Twenty thousand five hundred. Now, over there, this is what we got. You got a roof. You know, you got a furnace. You got a hot water tank, stolen plumbing, and electrical panels. I have not been given any information, right? This is just a dirt cheap property, dirt cheap listing. They just threw it up. I don't know if we need to do all of those items. If we did, that would take our reno budget from 33500 If we had to do none of those, our budget would only be the cosmetic stuff, the 20500 right? So what I did is this is what I set this up based on just estimates of what I'm thinking, okay? We need to try to pick this thing up for about $15,000, okay? Listed at twenty nine nine. Can't pay twenty nine nine. No freaking way. This particular neighborhood, the, the exit values are not high enough to support buying a dog property like that for thirty k. We got to come in cash, try to pick it up for half, plus your budget limits us. And then for the renovations, I think $30,000 is reasonable. That accounts for that $20,500, okay? $20,500 for the cosmetics, which I know we have to do. Then we have the additional $13,000. Worst case scenario, it would be thirteen, and that would be if we had to do the roof, if we had to do the furnace, if we had to do the hot water tank, if thieves stole the plumbing, we had to replace all that with PEX, and if we had to upgrade the electrical panels. I don't think the odds of having to do every single one of those is realistic. So what I did is I put in ninety five hundred. I'm thinking we'll have to do the majority of it, but probably not all of it. Now, of course, we're going to make this contingent on third party home inspection. And if it uh, is determined that we do need to go to the full worst case scenario, that 13.5, we could go back to the seller and renegotiate. But I think 95 is more accurate. Then, of course, uh, you got your sales commission when you sell the property. It's 7 percent. But if you notice, I have 4,995 written there because we have a minimum, right? You can't buy like a $10,000 property and think you're only paying $700 uh, to have your real estate broker sell it. There's always minimums and then your closing costs, right? So all told... With everything, if we can pick it up at 15, if you can do the rental for 30, that's only 45K, right? You have 30K in cash, and then I'm assuming you can use your contacts to get the other 15K lent to you. So you have to spend a total of 45K. And if you sell this thing for 60 after paying those commissions, it would send out a gross profit of $9,000 to you. Now, I know... You're aiming for triple that, brother, but dude, you only got 30 Gs to work with, brother. So unless you want to increase your budget or we wait for something like the last property, like the last property was one where you would spend all your money on the property and then you would just sit on that property uh, for many, many months or possibly years until you saved up the money to rehab it. If you're trying to do everything all at once, this is about the cheapest thing I could find for you where we could still make some money. It's not your 30 k but you know I think making a $10,000 off of the limited funds that you're working with uh, would be the very best case scenario for you. So with that in mind, man, let me know what you want to do. Let me know if you want to move forward on this deal. We do the same stuff we did on the last deal. Try to take it down. Now, I, I don't know for sure if they'll accept it because they're trying to get double that, but I really don't see someone paying twenty nine nine for this sucker. And if they do, if someone else comes in and they pay twenty nine, good for them, man. Who cares? Because I don't think you can make any money if you pay twenty nine nine. Based upon my chart, if you tried to flip this and you paid twenty nine nine, you would lose six thousand dollars. So if there's some asshole out there who wants to try to take on all that work and lose six thousand dollars, good for him. You guys come to my show 
because you want to do the right deals, right? You're not out here just trying to do a deal. You want to do a deal that actually makes you money. And because of that, we got to do a lot of due diligence on a lot of properties. And again, make a lot of offers because if we just want to give the sellers what they want so we can get a deal done, that's great. But you're going to lose $6,000 on the deal. And who the fuck wants to do that, you know? So let me know what you want to do, Ed. Uh, we'll try to do this deal if that makes sense. If not, if you have some changes or maybe you want to pause and uh, see if you can come up with a little bit more money and we could expand your search a little bit. Or maybe you want me to just sit and wait until I get another opportunity like the last one where it's an occupied rental where you can pick it up for your 30 and just wait that tenant out and give yourself some time to save up the rehab money. We can go that route. It's, it's basically up to you. I've given you two very different type of options, uh, which are essentially the only two types of options we can do uh, with your budget. So uh, let me know what the plan of attack is going to be for your next remaining videos. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. Thank you for sticking with me. If you're a first-time viewer, you just, you're just you Googling how to invest in real estate or how to flip cheap houses or how to work in the ghetto or whatever the fuck you're Googling and you came here, we're all about transparency in the real estate investment business. So stick around, smash that subscribe button, and see what else we got, folks, because we got a lot of stuff out there on Holton Wise TV for you, from the Money Show to the Tennis from Hell Show to this show to the other show where we sell properties with video tours called the Investment Properties for Sale Show. We got a lot of stuff out there for you, folks, because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.